What's up guys, Techlips here, welcome back to another video, I hope you guys are feeling well and the iOS 12 is finally out for all of the devices. Now you can finally go ahead and update your device to the iOS 12, this is non-beta version of course, this is a public for everyone and you can just go ahead and go into your settings, uh, general, software updates and it's gonna be up here. No need to install any profiles, if you have a profile, just go ahead and remove it if you don't want to get future updates, uh, the public versions of these updates uh, on your device. If you want, just have the profile. If you have the latest iOS 12 beta, this should be the latest version of the iOS 12 that we have in here. It's the same one. No need to update to a new one. And now a few words about the iOS 12. Well, I've been rocking this iOS 12 since its first beta. And you know, this first beta actually impressed me so much. I remember comparing the iPhone 6 and 5S, especially this older generation devices, um, the iOS 11.4.1 uh, versus the iOS 12 beta a one and you know what this iOS 12 actually felt much faster than the iOS 11.4.1. Later with the iOS 12 beta 4, 5 or maybe 6 we finally got a really really good improvement in terms of the battery and then we um, uh, continuously got more and more improvements over the next and the next betas with the iOS 12. Now finally with the latest iOS 12 the release we've got a really really nice battery life. Now for the iPhone 10 users Face ID well, Face ID has become a really, really great tool for me for unlocking my phone. It really can now partially, let's say, replace Touch ID because Touch ID has been really great. I remember it was really awesome. Now, with the Face ID on the iOS 12, the distance between the iPhone and your face is a little bit shortened right now by like like the iPhone, like the whole iPhone. So you don't have to, you know, uh, hold your phone on a long distance for it to unlock uh, itself. Uh, now the distance has been shortened. That's a really good sign. So in terms of the performance this became really really great and you can actually see the difference right after you update. So now before you update just make sure you make a backup because, because you know uh, people are going to be updating their phones, iPhones, uh, iPads, also maybe iPod touches if they're still compatible uh, all across the globe. It's millions of devices so you know in case something fails you need to have your backup in the cloud or on the computer. So uh, I usually do two backups on the computer and also in the cloud to have of course um, this recovery <laughs> situation uh, so I can actually get the, another backup for myself in case something fails uh, but yeah just make sure you make a backup you don't need any profiles just go into settings like I said it's very easy to update uh, and yeah you may also be experiencing right now this little um, f update failed or something like this message uh, on the screen uh, just because so many people at this moment are actually updating their phones so servers cannot split uh, themselves uh, for all of the phones uh, all across the globe so they cannot uh, you know uh, supply this new updates to all of the phones that's why so you can wait an hour maybe two hours maybe half an hour so you keep trying and eventually you will of course uh, get this on your device and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today that's it for this updates uh, of course I wish you a good luck updating your phone <laughs> just remember to do a backup and of course if you have any ideas about the future videos about the iOS 12 maybe comparing different phones, uh, speeds between the iOS 11 the latest version and iOS 12. I will of course do that if you want. So make sure you of course leave your comment down below in the description. And you guys if you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to hit the like button that will be super much appreciated. And as always guys, oh uh, I almost forgot, <laughs> just go into my videos. Uh, today I've made another video about the iPhone XR, things you did not know about this iPhone. It should be interesting. And yeah guys, I really hope to see you around to my next one. And Peace out.